Isaac Gifford. Stephen Milhouse Sipple, he had ranked Isaac Gifford as his top Husker for 2024. Now, I think a lot of people might look at that and might say, just put Dylan there. Like, why are we beating around the bush? He plays the most important position. He put Isaac Gifford. What are your expectations for him? Are we crazy to think that he's like a high draft pick? Number one, uh, I do think he's a significantly better tester than what we've seen on the football field. And we've seen a pretty good football player on the football field. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a 36-inch vertical guy. He's going to be a 10-foot standing broad jump guy. He's very good in the short shuttle. He's explosive. And I think the thing for him this year and why he wanted to come back is is because he wanted people to understand that he's more than just a in-the-box, down-the-hill kind of guy. He wants to show athleticism. He's a very good tester. And so I think for him, there's some personal objectives he wants to hit, too, because he's just now starting to hit his stride as a complete defensive back. He's for sure in my top three, but I would, in Sip's defense, I would put him ahead of Dylan. Even though Dylan has significantly more upside and he plays the premier position, I don't think he has to be great for Nebraska to achieve their goals. Dylan could just be good, and Nebraska will be just fine. I think Gifford has to play at a high, high level. And I do think he's the most indispensable. Because for all the hand-wringing we have about Harburg, he still won five games last year. We haven't shown that anybody can play behind anything in this secondary with Gifford being a key cob. But I think for Gifford, Sip says a lot of silly things, but I wouldn't give him much pushback at all. I, I think Gifford's potential dominance at that position in controlling that back end, I think is critical.